That is correct, ladies and gentlemen. Today is Met VR NV Extreme. It's a $17,000 Canadian video processing unit, reportedly to be much better than a Lumigen. So we'll see. Regardless of the projector you use, there is no such thing as the perfect projector. Some projector is better in upscaling, for example. The Sony 4K projectors, their upscaling is top notch. In terms of HDR functionality, the JVC is the best. If you want something that's bright, Epson is brighter. So what should I do? Well, in the pursuit of slappiness, I mean, pursuit of happiness, I highly recommend the JVC RS3100. It has the best value and performance within its price range or even double the price range. However, the upscaling is still a little bit lacking. So in order to compensate for a better upscaling, I'll be testing this MedVR NV Extreme. It is $17,000 Canadian, but we'll see. So let's see what's inside. There's the remote. There you go, there's the remote there. Actually, the feel is not bad at all. It reminds me of the old NVIDIA Shield Pro. I mean, it could have been better for something that's $17,000. But, no, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Power cord here. And here's the behemoth. Ooh, how should I put it? It's nice. So at the back here, you can see that it's an actual PC, a high-end one with gigantic fans and you can see this gigantic gigantic CPU fan now let's power it on see the blue light turns on and you see that Matt VR logo on your screen Things sliding up, and that's it. Once you turn on everything, you press the settings button here on the top right, and then you see the display configuration. So basically, you put in what type of display you have and what can it do. Screen configuration is basically what is being displayed on your display. This is the part that is the most important for me, is the black bar's configuration. So you can detect a uh, black bar, well not you, the Met VR can detect the black bar and, uh, and shift the aspect ratio for your display accordingly in an instant. As you can see here that the black bar detection speed is set to ludicrous. Here you have a whole bunch of custom zoom configuration. So basically it's saying that if it receives a 1.19 to 1 ratio, what should the Met VR do? Right now because it's brand new out of the box, everything is set to off. Under HDMI configuration, you can also check the edit and create an, a fake edit if you need to. And truly importantly, the remote control can be configured to whatever you want. See the red circle press, red circle hold. So anything here can be configured the, exactly the way you want it. After playing it for several hours, including watching a handful of movies from various type of sources, here's my verdict. Video upscaling is top notch. It is literally, absolutely, Without a doubt, the 
absolute best video upscaling that I've ever experienced in my life. The black bar detection speed is simply ludicrous. It's the fastest I've ever seen compared to any other processors on the market. The black bar detection also helps with the change of IMAX ratio changes within the movie in a very subtle, non-distracting way for a scope screen. And that brings me to the next feature, which is non-linear stretching. As you can see in the diagram, a non-linear stretching is stretching a certain aspect ratio to a wider aspect ratio. Now, you can broaden 4 by 3 to 16 by 9, or you can change 16 by 9 to scope in a nice and virtually non-detectable way. Rest assured, however, that the NLS algorithm that's being done by MetVR and VXtreme is done in the least distracting way I've ever seen in my life as well. Now addressing the elephant in the room, whether you should buy this unit or not. If you have the means to buy it, yeah, you really need to. If you want the best performance out of your projector, yes, you need this equipment too. But let's not talk about value. This unit is all about performance and performance only. And as far as performance goes, this unit is top notch. Highly recommended. So what do you think about this video? Please comment down below and also don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel so the next time I upload a new video, you will be notified. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.